Hey everybody, Tim here with today's review of Orville Season 1, Episode 4, If the Stars Should Appear. Uh, this was a really good one. I really liked it. It's it's not the strongest story that they've done so far, but it is kind of still really interesting, and a lot of it's the situational type humor. <clears throat> so from the opening scene where like Boris and Clyden are fighting, and Clyden's like, give me stuff that people want when they're depressed. And so the computer gives him Rocky Road ice cream and the sound of music. I was like, that's actually pretty great. Um, most of the, the plot is about them encountering this giant spaceship that's like, technically it's even bigger than a space station. It's no moon. And it's kind of like off course and it's heading straight to the sun. And so they need to go inside it and basically find out what's going on. Um, there's a short clip of Claire and Yafit, and Yafit's like, I feel, or Claire's talking to Yafit about being depressed, and how, like, his gelatinous is, like, not doing what it should be, and he's like, well, I'm alone. Like, I'm, I'm lonely. I need to find somebody. Which, in the last episode, like, Yafit was clearly hitting on Claire, so I feel like this was actually filmed before that scene. Like, this is the one where they establish he's lonely, and from now on is where he starts flirting with her. So I think that was just some weird editing going on. <clears throat> so, Ed, Claire, no, who is it? It's, yeah, it's Ed, Claire, and Isaac go on one away team, and Kelly and Alara go on the other. And they basically find, like, this giant civilization that's living in this ship, but they don't know it's a ship. Now, that premise is something that's been done to death. It's a, it's a sci-fi cliche, whereas, like, Star Trek has done it, even Doctor Who has done it. Big spaceship, people don't know it's a spaceship. It still worked for me. Like, I still really like it. <clears throat> So most of, like I said, the ship is just them trying to figure out, like, people don't believe in God, or they do, or they're trying to figure out what's going on. By the time we get to the end, they go up to the bridge, and Liam Neeson actually makes a cameo appearance, which, like, this show is made by Seth MacFarlane, and Liam Neeson's done, what, two movies with him? I think it was, like, Ted and um, A Million Ways to Die in the West. So at this point, like, Seth MacFarlane's, like, calling in friends, and he's like, hey, I just need somebody to kind of bump it up a little bit. And, I mean, hey, if you got famous friends that are willing to do it, I don't see why you wouldn't. So it just kind of makes sense. So overall, I don't think it's the strongest one we've seen so far, especially after the last episode that about a girl one was so great. It, it did drop a little bit, but I still, I'm super enjoying the show. I think it has a lot of really good messages. For those who are watching it, what did you guys think? Let me know, and I'll see you guys next time for Priya.